Hi everyone, welcome to your values. So today we got like a very interesting merger. We've got a company called Beachbody merging with a SPAC called Forest Road Acquisition Corp. And it's also merging with Mix Fitness. So yeah, like pretty interesting that they've actually managed to get three different companies together um, and then just come out with something pretty cool and unique. Um, so we got Beachbody, who is basically in nutrition and streaming. You've got Mix Fitness that does um, uh, exercise bike, very similar to Peloton. Um, and then you've got Forest Road Acquisition Corp, which is a SPAC, putting this all together. And then they're going to have an enterprise valuation of $2.9 billion. Um, and then it's going to inject $420 million into it. Um, and that's going to basically bring the valuation up to about $3.3 billion. Um, and if we look at the SPAC today, if you wanted to buy into this situation, you'd be looking at $11.44, which would elevate the valuation to about $3.7 billion. Um, so yeah, if we uh, look look into the details of this company, uh, it's got a guy called Kevin Meyer, who is part of the SPAC, the Forest Road acquisition. And this guy helped launch Disney Plus, which is doing so well right now. Um, then eventually they hired him to TikTok to be the CEO. Um, and he was doing quite well with TikTok until the, gov the US government did decide to step in. Um, and then he resigned after that. Um, but you can kind of see the potential of bringing someone like Kevin Meyer onto the situation. And he'll be a strategic advisor in the situation. Um, and yeah, like I think he brings so much to this game. He's going to help accelerate um, the rest of the management team. Um, and this is kind of his home ground because the, what what is Beachbody targeting? They're targeting digital subscriptions um, and they draw influence from Disney, Spotify, Netflix and a connected fitness, which they draw influence from Peloton. Um, so if we look at the Peloton valuation right now, Peloton is worth $42 billion. And in the past uh, year, they've gone from less than $20 in March to $145. So I think you can kind of see that there's a large potential, particularly now that a lot of people are at home, uh, that's discovering that, hey, we can actually do a lot at home, particularly uh, fitness. Like you're not limited to fitness uh, when you're stuck at home because I think a lot of people imagine if you want to get super fit, uh, you have to go to the gym. Uh, these days, companies are making it easier for you to work out at home, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think it, it, there's a slide here uh, where they show you this bike, um, and you can buy it for $1,299, US $29 subscription fee, uh, which, is actually, which the bike is actually cheaper than Peloton's bike. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily better than Peloton's bike or anything like that, but it gives you that screen, it gives you that ability to work out at home, um, and it would be that basically that Peloton experience. So this company, this merger ends up being a Peloton plus more. It's even more comprehensive than a company like Peloton, uh, but Peloton itself is growing extremely well, so not to take away anything from Peloton. Um, but going back to this, uh, the slides, uh, you can kind of see that, yeah, like they're growing into this digital subscription business with connected fitness, and they're also going to do this nutrition side. Um, so the influencers, as they put um, Chewy.com, Fresh Pets, why are they drawing influencers from like pets uh, companies? Well, pet companies currently have one of the best subscription services when it comes to food and nutrition delivery. Um, because people just subscribe to it, they get f pet food delivered every week or uh, or, or month, um, and basically uh, it works out really well. And I think this company is drawing those influences and hoping that in the future people are going to subscribe to protein powder, protein bar, monthly deliveries, um, and they're going to do really well off that as well. Um, so currently, the subscription for Beachbody is. Um, 2.6 million paid subscriptions, which is accelerated um, from 2019. 2019 was about 1.7, 1.6 million subscribers, and they managed to jump to 2.6 um, for obvious reasons when everyone's stuck at home. Um, and yeah, they've 
um, just this business itself was generating more than 400, well, will generate more than 450 million in revenue this year. And, and that's based on a $99 annual subscription fee. And you get 12 workouts per month. So you can kind of see where this company is heading in the future. Uh, that it, it really wants to head into a situation that it's doing this whole s streaming subscription with nutrition and with the bike. Um, and if you combine all three companies together, you'd get they'd be doing about $880 million in revenue. And in this year, they're looking at doing $1.1 billion. Um, so this year, the growth would be about 26%. And then they're hoping next year they'll do about 33% growth um, and get to $1.4 billion in revenue. So how does that compare with Peloton? So Peloton in the past 12 months has been growing about 50% from $1.8 billion to $2.9 billion. Um, so you can kind of see Peloton does have significantly higher growth. Um, its valuation is $42 billion, which roughly gives it about a 15 around about a 15 times revenue situation um, so if we look at um, this company here Beachbody and we go if we were to give them less than that because they're not growing as quick as Peloton so they don't deserve that 15x valuation um, but maybe if we give them a 10x valuation and we go at 1.1 1, 1 .1 billion projected revenue this year that would be worth about around about 11 billion dollars at eleven billion dollars, um, over that three point seven billion right now, uh, if you were to buy this back at a three point seven billion three point seven billion valuation, um, and we have a projection that maybe in the next twelve months this could be worth about eleven billion, then you would have about a two hundred percent upside. But even if you don't get to that two hundred percent upside, I'm sure you're going to do still do really really well. I don't know why the SPAC has not popped up um, on this kind of three-way merger. I don't, maybe it hasn't generated so much interest because interest is elsewhere, um, namely MJ stocks and EV stocks, I guess. Uh, but there's so much potential in this uh, merger that I'm really surprised it's only jumped 6.37%, but maybe people might realize it in the future and then the stock's going to go up quite a bit. So I'd say it has a potential of going over to over $30. Um, and yeah, I wouldn't say that there's that many companies that uh, really offer this potential, and especially in this space. And I think, yeah, like Peloton really shows you that large potential when it comes to fitness. And these guys potentially have that same situation where they can, uh, can grow their revenue significantly particularly with a lot of people at home a lot of people discovering the convenience of doing fitness at home uh, subscriptions for I guess nutrition and bars and protein and all that so yeah I think this company is quite an exciting one I think currently you get it at a very cheap valuation um, especially now that the presentation has been shown the numbers have been shown um, it shows a very high potential company. The growth rates aren't like significantly uh, that significant in a sense, like 26% this year, 33% next year. But it's in a really stable situation where I think it it's offering like that really nice growth and also that really stable uh, base of a company that's really well established um, and will continue to grow going forward. Um, so I think this is a fantastic long-term uh, company that gets you a really, really good return. Um, so yeah, like it's definitely something to consider for sure. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think this is a good company? Would you buy into this? Um, yeah, or if you've got any questions, post below. Until then, uh, good luck investing everyone.